Uh, what types of questions do you think we can ask with this type of how, how far? How, we go? how high? How long? How high? What else? Time? Time? I'm in the air. As for the angle, if we weren't given the angle, etc. There's lots of different things. So we'll look at different scenarios here. Uh, what, what do you want to solve for first? What might be the most useful thing? So it would be the time. Time. Time is always going to be the most useful thing in any of these problems. If you're not given time, you probably want to try to solve for it first. So let's try to figure out how long this thing is going to be in the end. Anybody have any clue where to start? I'll take that as a no. No. Of course. Of course you're going to Let's write down what we know. First of all, we have two directions. We have the x and the y direction. We start with the y direction. Then we'll take our starting point here. Take our finishing point sometime later when we're back on the ground. What was my final velocity in the line? Do we know? We don't know. What, we don't know what that velocity is going to be way over there. Not yet. We actually do know. But it's a little bit. Initial velocity in the y direction. 50 meters. Now, it's 50 in the y direction. It's only 45 degrees of it. Only 45 degrees of it is. Only a part of that is. Not quite 25. So we have 50 degrees at some angle here. And we want to find out how much it's actually going up. Something you can solve? Yeah, triangle. Triangle. So this 50... This 50 at a 45 degree angle is actually going this way, horizontally, and vertically at the same time. It's going, part of it is going in that direction, and part of it is going up and down. So for the first part here, the initial velocity in the y, we need to solve for the vertical component, or what we refer to as a component. So how do you solve for that side of the triangle? Um, uh, sine, cosine. sine and cosine. Yeah, there's probably some 45, 45, 90 yeah, rule that you can apply here, but I can't remember what it is. So we'll just use sine and cosine. So I'm solving for the y over here. What? Uh, we use uh, opposite cosine. The opposite, opposite the, hypotenuse. The opposite and the hypotenuse. So that would be sine of my degree. So the sine of my angle is going to be equal to the opposite side my hypotenuse. So the hypotenuse times the sine of my angle is going to equal my opposite side. I would get this concept, hypotenuse times the angle, in your head. So this is going to be 50, which is the hypotenuse, meters per second, times the sine of 45 degrees. So what do you think this side is going to be? Cosine times the Cosine of 45 degrees. What's 50 cosine 45? Root 2 over 2. Times 50. 35.35. 35.35. And this is also 35. So this is the initial velocity in the y direction. 35.35. What's the acceleration of the y? The vertical direction. Acceleration. Yes, negative 10. Gravity. Gravity acts up and down. 
it is a y component. So the acceleration in the y direction is negative 10 meters per second squared. It's always negative. Uh, yes. Well, when it points down, like it does in all our problems, yes. Time. So we're searching for and changing position. Where's my vertical change in position? We know that. Zero. Zero. I start on the ground. I finish on the ground. So vertically, I have not gone anywhere from where I started to where I finished. So this value is also zero. So now I have three values. I should be able to solve for the other one. Time is what I'm looking for. So what do you think? Our values. Change in D is zero. Initial velocity is initial velocity is thirty-five point three five meters per second times the time plus one half the acceleration. Gravity times time squared. Minus 35 meters per second. I'll just round it off to 35. T equals negative 5 meters per second squared. Times 2 is what you Times 2 squared. Not anymore. Divide both sides by T. Okay. Makes it easier for us. And then divide both sides by 5. It's 7 seconds. Now you may very well get quadratics in this, so you can't be afraid of those things. So that is how long it's in the air. Solve for final velocity in the y direction. That's possible. I think it's more than possible. I know seven seconds now. I've got four out of the five variables I could probably solve for. The final. Yeah, the final. Final velocity is initial velocity in the y still. Plus the acceleration. Seven seconds. I rounded these off. That's why. And I'll round this one off. So it's negative thirty-five. Oops, sorry. The final velocity is thirty-five meters per second plus seventy. Initial velocity was 35 meters per second. Final velocity is negative 35 meters per second. I think it's coincidence or a rule? A rule, it's a rule. And the vertical velocity here is the same as the vertical velocity here, only the opposite. You can use that to help you solve problems. Initial is the same as final. And the y values are opposite. And this is true anywhere along here. So if you know that the velocity here is up at 10 meters per second, at the same height, what is it? Down at 10 meters per second. That is only true in y velocity. 